Hello, everyone. Well, let's talk about my little bout with anger yesterday. I'm not an angry person. Of course, there is justified anger. But when I look back and I reflect on this, I'm really thinking it was me. I wanted to be angry. And then I was not a good witness to Jesus. I'll share with you the whole story. Ready? All righty, here we go. I went to the bank yesterday. I had to get some stuff out of the safety deposit box, and I also wanted them to have the death certificate for my husband, Jeff. They advised me not to make any changes in the short term, so I left feeling pretty good about things until I went back into my system, my bank accounts, and I realized that our trust account was gone. So, of course, I had this sinking feeling in my heart and my stomach, like, oh, where did that go? And I thought, well, maybe it must have been something that she did with the death certificate, and that is why I cannot find this account anymore. So I got on the phone, and I called, 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 and, I called and kept getting hung up on. Goodbye, said the automated system, and so I was Fuming, why are you not answering your phone at the branch number? Why can I not get someone physically to answer the phone? So I had to get in my car and I was so angry. I was driving so fast and I kept saying, in the name of Jesus Christ, I renounce the spirit of anger. But it wasn't an attack. It was me. My pride was getting in the way and hence my anger. And I tried to ask Jesus to take it away, but I was kind of not really praying for him to take it away. I wanted them to know how upset I was about the fact that no one was answering the call and how I'm mad that I had to drive all the way here. So I walk in to that bank and I walk up to the woman who helped me in the morning and I totally interrupt her with another person. And I said, excuse me, I don't mean to interrupt, but I am because this is urgent. I think whatever you did with my husband's death certificate screwed up and took away my trust account. And she said, okay, I'll, I'll get with you in a minute. I didn't expect her to deal with me right then and there. So I sit down and I'm still fuming. And another woman comes by and she says, well, there's another gentleman, Josh, he can help you. And I said, okay. And I sit down, I said, Josh, I don't mean to take this out on you, but I'm pretty upset. And I'm very upset that nobody answered the branch phone and I had to get in my car and come out here. I could tell I was taking it out on him because his ears got red, his neck got red. I mean, he didn't know what to do. So he gets into my account and he says, is it here? I said, no. And he said, okay, hold on. Let me go talk to someone. And then he came back and he showed me again the account and he goes, okay, it's dormant. And I said, well, I don't know why it's dormant. I'm pulling stuff out of there and moving it around all the time. So does it have something to do with the fact that the death certificate was put in there? And he said, no, you have to have some sort of teller do something for you once a year, because I'm just doing all my transferring in the app or on the system. I'm not coming to the branch to do anything because I don't have to. And now he's saying, that I have to do that one time a year and that it has nothing to do with the death certificate, just a crazy coincidence that it happened on the same day. <laughs> so then I have to apologize. And then I apologized to the other woman as I was walking out and to the customer that was with her. And I said, I am so sorry. I did not mean to be a jerk and come in here and do this. And then I walked out to my car and I'm talking to myself out loud. I am such a jerk. I am such a jerk. And there's a guy that's sitting there smoking. And I looked at him and I go, I'm such a jerk. <laughs> He's like, I have no idea what you're talking about. I got in the car and then I reflected on that. I was wearing this hat. What a witness I was not 
of Jesus. All I had to do was say, I am a little upset about the phone not being answered, but can you help me understand where my account went? I was fearful that the money went along with it, and I was in an attack mode, not in a please help me mode, please help me understand what happened. And I was taking it out on this poor man and this woman, and it had nothing to do with her or him. So when I reflect, I have to look at myself. I was driving so fast. I was feeling so justified in my anger, right? I mean, no one's answering the phone. I got to drive all the way here. Rah, 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 rah. Now, is anger in and of itself a sin? Well, we should control our emotions for sure. And we should be as loving as possible. But we all know that Jesus had righteous anger. When he flipped over the money tables for the thieves that were in his father's house. Do you know that you had to bring an offering, a perfect dove or a perfect animal with no broken bones? And if along the long, long journey, days and days for people to come, something happened to that animal, they wouldn't accept it. And so they'd say, you have to buy a new dove. And all these people were so poor. So Jesus had righteous anger. So anger in its place is also virtuous. In this case, it wasn't. <laughs> I took my anger, my frustration, it was really frustration, out on them and my impatience. So this is what it means to reflect. This is what it means to look at your life and truly Meditate on your day. When were you Jesus-like and when were you not? And I am so upset that I was wearing this hat. This hat should always be a reminder to me when I have it on that I must be Christ-like to others. And ask the Holy Spirit to fill me with his beautiful fruits, the spirit and the gifts I should be living out and I failed miserably yesterday. And so I'm telling you about it so that you too can sense and realize when some things like this actually happen to you, that it may just be you who wants to be in this moment, who wants to feel these feelings because you feel justified. And if you look at mine, there really was no justification for this kind of anger. So I hope that they accepted my apology because I really felt bad that I did what I did. I acted the way I acted and I said what I said. This is how it goes when you're paying attention, when you're reflecting on your day, and when you ask God to show you the times when you were or were not loving like Christ. All righty, everyone. I love you all so much. <laughs> Find something more with God the true way that you should be and offer it up to him if you do fall. If you fall big, get to confession. Remember reconciliation. The word cilia is in there. Little eyelashes so that you can be eyelash to eyelash with God. Again, find something more with God, soul, mind, and body, and have a blessed and inspired day. Affirm.